this tutorial, we're going to be looking at custom profiles. We'll start by creating a sketch. Right click, front plane, insert sketch. Let's activate the rectangle tool. Create a rectangle. Right click and select. Now let's create a center line. Right click, select. Let's shift select the center line and the origin point, we'll add a midpoint relationship and click OK. Now let's apply some dimensions. 40 here. This one will be 20. Next, let's use the Sketch Fillet tool. We'll enter a 5 mm radius tab. And let's apply the fillet to all four corners. OK. Next, I'll use the offset tool. I'll offset it by two millimeters. Add dimension checkbox. Let's check it. Select chain. Reverse direction. We'll also check these as well. OK. Lastly, I want four piercing points for this profile. They're going to be here, 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 and here. OK, and exit the sketch. Now let's right click on Annotations and select Show Feature Dimensions. Next, let's go to the File menu, Properties, and select the Custom tab. Under Property Name, we'll select Description. The type will be Text. The value, let's enter Profile. Next, I'll select this dimension and enter X. Select this dimension. Enter X again. Last one, select this dimension. Let's check now how it looks under the Evaluated Value column and click OK. Next, I'll select the sketch I just created. Click Save. We're going to save it as a library file in the Weldment Profiles folder. The full path is under SolidWorks Data. I'll choose the ISO standard folder and let's create a new folder to put this in. We'll call it My Profiles. Double click to open it. Under the Save as Type, I'm going to choose Library Feature Part. I'll enter a, an understandable file name 40 by 20 by 2, and then I'll click Save. Now let's create a new part document and see how our profile works. Select the top plane. Sketch. Choose the line tool. Create two lines. Right click, select. Smart Dimensionum. 100 by 100 millimeters. Again. Click OK and exit the sketch. Let's activate the Weldments toolbar, the Structural Member tool. Standard will have ISO, and here under Type, we see our new folder, My Profiles. Inside that folder is the profile I just created. Let's click this line and this line. OK. Let's check the piercing points. I'll select this point and click OK. And this concludes our tutorial on creating custom profiles.